Alright, so I know this has been done before, but I'm going to show some misconceptions about the rocket storage glitch. So there are multiple methods to do this glitch, and when it was first discovered, there was a different method that was actually just blatantly harder for no reason. So first let me explain what causes the glitch. The thing that affects the glitch is Mario's frozen stance. So you see, when I'm standing here, I'm not holding R at all. Mario can run, and he can jump. Even if I, if I just press R a little bit, it's not clicked, I can run, and I can jump. Let's say I get out the rocket, I press R a little bit, I can run, and I can jump. So, let's say when I click R, click it in all the way, I can't run, all that Mario does is change his angle, and if I jump, he does a backflip instead of a normal jump. So, the thing about this stances, which allows this uh, rocket storage to be possible, is if I go into Mario's frozen stance, and then I switch to the rocket mode while I'm still in Mario's frozen stance, he actually retains the stance. So I switch here, notice I can't run around. Mario can't run around, and he can't jump. So, you can't see it, but I'm pressing A. Mario won't jump when he's in this stance. So, there's four parts that actually affect the rocket storage. One, you have to be in your spray nozzle. Two, you hold R to where it's clicked. This gives you the frozen stance. Three, while you're holding R to where it's clicked, you're gonna switch to rocket mode. And four, when your rocket is about here, let's see if I can, right here, like where it's right above your water tank, you're going to release R so that it's not clicked, but it's still held in most of the way. So like, it's clicked, now it's held in most of the way. Clicked, held in most of the way. It just goes slower. So I start in spray mode, hold R, press X, and release it so that it's not in all the way. That stored one rocket. To activate a stored rocket, switch to spray, switch to sidestep, walk off a ledge. It's, it's pretty simple. When the glitch was first discovered, runners actually thought that you had to buffer the uh, a stance by holding L, because L puts you in the same stance as holding R. So what they would do is they would press L, then click R, then do this. Oops. So they do L, R, do this, and then release both of them. But holding L is actually just an extraneous input, it doesn't affect it at all. So you can do that if you want, but it doesn't help. It's just an extra input to do. Um, so that's the main misconception, is that people think you have to press L, and you really don't. The only part you have to press L is when you walk off the ledge. So one method that actually does save time is in Corona, there's like this ledge that you have to jump onto in order to uh, be able to sidestep off of it. So what you can do for your first rocket buffer is click down R, then jump onto the ledge, and you have to land right as your rocket goes off. So this one just stored one rocket for me. It saves probably a fraction of a second or one second. Um, it's not necessary, but it can save a little bit of time. Then all you do is keep holding down R clicked, now you double tap X, and then you release R again. Same as always. Now switch to sidestep, jump off. That's it. If you don't want to do that, but let's say that's too hard, you just jump up here, hold down R, click, do the buffer, click down R again, boom, boom. So you can see it just saves a fraction of a second. That's all you need to do. Holding L doesn't affect anything. The only part you have to hold L for is walking off the ledge. So yeah, I just thought I would clear that up for some people um, because there have been some different ideas that have been claimed about holding L. You really don't need it. And the jumping strat does work for the first rocket buffer. And it saves a little bit of time. It's unnecessary, though, if you don't feel comfortable doing it. So yeah, thanks for watching.